I'm back. I told you I would be. We have to do something with this string. I keep teasing you with string and telling you we're going to do something. Well, finally, we are. So, in addition to the string, I want you to see what we have in terms of paint color. This is something you can make from spices in the kitchen. This is turmeric. You can have your mother mix up some powdered turmeric or turmeric, depending on where you're from. And it has a wonderful smell, Middle Eastern. And this, believe it or not, is coffee. So I told you we'd be using paint that you can mix your own pigments from food in the kitchen. So we have coffee here and turmeric here. Um, we left off with our activity with the laying the paint, uh, the pieces of paper down and then painting around it with pastels and then coming in and filling in with, with colored pencils. So in the same idea of using a negative as a relief, we're gonna start with some blue tape. It can be any tape. And then what I want to start with is, I'm gonna take the string, just like this, and I'm gonna soak it in the coffee water. Ooh, get it all soaked really good. Get it nice, a nice color. And then we're gonna stretch it out. And then we're gonna lay it on the paper like this. We're gonna lift it up and we're gonna put it here. I'm gonna get more of it. And lay it down here. Okay. And then I'm going to take another string and put it in the turmeric. It's kind of like cooking. Does this look like pasta? And then you can put this string and just make marks with different drops or you can make different shapes and print like this. This makes such a beautiful yellow, doesn't it? Another way to do this, I have, then I have a little bit of thread. I'm gonna get it into the coffee. My coffee is a little weak. So I can make marks with it. It's not quite as dark. You also can make one with, char with charcoal water. Voila. You also can take the brush, get the excess paint, and paint right up to the tape. Now you can wait for it to dry, but I'm going to go ahead and remove the tape. What did we call this with the white space? We call this the negative space. And like I said, you can wait for that to dry and then take the tape off or you can take it off right away. 
Now, if you want to, I don't have any glue right here, but then you can take your pigmented threads and open them up. And once this is dry, you can put this into glue and glue it on to your paper. Some people might call this string art, but really it's collage and mixed media. That's it for today. Thank you. Ciao, ciao.